Hi, I'm Kristen King, and you're watching Smart Money, the show that gives you the inside edge on the bets that the movers and shakers on Wall Street are placing. This week, we're looking at a major player in the growing market for LNG, or liquid natural gas, Chenier Energy Partners. The LNG market has grown rapidly in the U.S. thanks to increasing demand from Asia for the energy source. Chenier began operating as recently as 2016, and in that time has grown to become a $16 billion company. It's now the largest LNG operator in the U.S. and one of the largest in the world, exporting liquefied gas to five continents. Chenier is headquartered in Houston, one of the nation's energy hubs, but also has offices in London, Singapore, Beijing, and Tokyo. Its LNG facilities are in Louisiana and Texas. Operating in the energy sector at this scale doesn't come cheap, and Chenier estimates that it has invested $38 billion into its infrastructure and operations to date. However, it continues to expand and is currently adding additional LNG processing facilities at its Sabine Pass operations, where it is constructing a sixth liquefaction unit, which should be operational in 2022. That would allow Sabine Pass to process around 30 million tons of gas per annum. Chenier is not a gas producer. Instead, it buys natural gas on the open market in the USA and turns that into LNG for export. Customers can load the gas onto their vessels or allow Chenier to deliver the cargo to them. In 2019, the global LNG market was around 355 million tons. The pandemic trimmed that figure in early 2020, though demand picked up later in the year. Analysts are predicting a return to growth in 2021 as Asian energy markets continue to liberalize and economies begin to reopen. S&P Platts is forecasting a 3% growth rate for the LNG market in the year ahead. Trackstar IQ, our proprietary search tracking tool, shows that natural gas ETFs are gaining traction with institutional traders in the recent weeks, too. Chenier recorded a loss of $67 million in Q3 2020 versus $110 million of net income in the same period in 2019. However, it was able to report net income of $774 million for the first nine months of the year, up from $727 million it recorded between January and September of 2019. The potential for the LNG to rebound has attracted some institutional interest from vehicles controlled by one of the country's largest money managers, Blackstone, who oversee more than $500 billion of assets. Two funds, BX Rockies Platform Co. LLC and Blackstone Holdings 3LP, have been buying Chenier stock, each purchasing 71,532 shares at $34.96 for a combined consideration of just over $5.1 million. Those purchases take each fund's holding in the company to 2.32 million shares. Collectively, Blackstone, who were a pre-existing major shareholder, now owns over 10% of Chenier Energy Partners. The energy sector has been among the most unloved investments over the last 12 months, but the sector started 2021 on a positive note, with the S&P 500 index up by 4.7% year-to-date, compared to a fall of almost 45% in 2020. LNG markets won't be the first to rebound, but Chenier looks to be well-positioned to benefit from any recovery. That's all we have time for this week, but as usual, make sure you do your due diligence before making any investment decisions. To find out more about our Trackstar IQ data, sign up to our free newsletter at investingchannel.com trackstar.